Hey. I'm back like cook crack. The best shit out the city since Nips. Fuck your opinion, no listens, but pay attention. You might get it. Cool in the cool, nigga. But cool in the fool, nigga. Was too cool for school, nigga. Ain't too proud to admit it. They love it when I play the humble role, but I ain't humble though. Trying to tell you something you should know This ain't the usual Ordinary shit that you gon' hear This that hope for the youth, nigga You should lend the ear Know why we drinking beers and doing drugs And hang with thugs and busting guns Don't give a fuck Same reason Alright, what's going on guys? Jermods here Welcome back to some more Advanced Warfare For today's gameplay What you guys are going to be watching in the background Is a SAC 3 DNA bomb playing on the map Solar if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. That would be greatly appreciated. So my opinions on these Akimbo SMGs would have to be, at the moment, they're at that perfect spot where I don't think they need a buff or I don't think they need a nerf because that would kind of mess it up at the moment. I think they're fine, you know, where they're at. A lot of people are saying that these SMGs are really bad. In my opinion... I think they're fine, and they have a decent amount of range on them, so you can, you know, win uh, mid-range gunfights and stuff like that. Along with that, they're a bunch of fun. I was actually grinding for this gameplay last night, and I was having a race with my friend to see who could get the DNA bomb with these guns first. And um, I was just having a load of fun just running around, even though I was dying on streaks and stuff like that. I was just having a load of fun just running around and jumping around and having a bunch of fun with these guns. If you guys are ever having like a bad time on Advanced Warfare and you guys aren't dropping DNA bombs or something like that, I'd recommend just chucking these guns on and just running around and having a bunch of fun. That's what I'm going to start doing from now on because these guns are really fun to use. So tell me your thoughts down below uh, what your opinions are on the SAC 3s. In my opinion, I think they're fine. I don't think they need a buff or a nerf or anything like that. I think at the moment they're not quite balanced, but they're just fine. So, um, anyway, a lot of you guys are requesting for me to do a class setup video. And at the moment, I'm kind of on the fence where, you know, at the moment there is a lot of uh, class setup videos for Advanced Warfare on YouTube. They're kind of, it's kind of oversaturated with class setup videos, so... At the moment, I'm kind of thinking of doing one, but at the same time, I'm kind of thinking I'll just keep posting Geyser links down in the comment section below. So, tell me what you guys want to see. Tell me if you guys want to see a class setup video. At the moment, I know there's a few people out there that want to see my classes and stuff like that. But um, if we can get, you know, majority of the people wanting a class setup video, then I'm down to do a class setup video. If not, I'll just continue posting Geyser links and stuff like that, and you guys can see my class setup. But, um... Another thing that I wanted to quickly touch on is live comms. At the moment, I have, I think, another two live comms to upload. So, look forward to them. I'm thinking about recording some more live comms. For some reason, when I'm doing live comms and stuff like that, I tend to play um, a lot better. For some reason, I pull off gameplays when I'm doing live comms. I don't know, there's something about doing live comms and concentrating at the same time, which helps a lot. So, tell me your thoughts down in the comment section below. Tell me if you guys want to see a class setup video, and also tell me your thoughts on the SAC 3 Akimbo SMGs. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Take care, and goodbye.